So for us to find a true replacement for this application, we do have to set some criteria. Number one, the replacement has to be absolutely free. So no charges, no hidden fees. It should be a completely free method. Number two, the replacement should support linking from Dropbox or from Google Drive or really anywhere online where you can store your favorite applications. We should be able to link them exactly like we could through file linked in this new replacement. And lastly, and probably the most important, we shouldn't really have any kind of restrictions or limitations when we upload content to our store. And what that means is I should have full control of adding content, removing content, modifying content. And unfortunately, this is where the new application AppLinked falls a bit short because as it's a very, very early release, right now when you upload something to share with your friends, family, customers, there's no way for you to actually modify that content or change it. So if I need to change the version of something or change the description, none of that is possible. So the new application should not have any restrictions like that. Well, in this video today, let me show you this new application, which ticks all of those boxes. It will allow you to create your free store that you can share with everybody. And most importantly, it will give you that complete control to add, remove, and modify any content that you like. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. And here we are in my brand new store that I've created just for this demonstration. And you can see I've created custom sections. So this is a section for my uh, launcher managers. Let's scroll down. Here are some of my favorite applications. Let's scroll down. Uh, here are some utilities and then gaming. So very, very easy to create. You can create as many custom sections as you like. And of course you can add in as many links as you like. So for example, I want to download uh, this application over here. And we can see as soon as I click on that, that instantly begins a download of the application installation file. So no confirmations, no prompts, just one click, and that will then download the application. And that's exactly the experience we had with the previous application. Now I can now choose to install that. So very, very easy to use, very easy to manage. And of course it works on all of your Android devices. So let me now show you how you can create your own store so you can once again start sharing your favorite applications with all of your friends, family, and customers. So just as a super quick summary on how the previous application used to work, you would basically upload your favorite applications, your favorite apps onto some online repository. So some people would use archive.org, others would use Dropbox. Basically, wherever you can host your applications online, you would copy them to that location and then file link will then be a front end for that. Now, exactly with the new method, with this new application, so you're still going to use the same links that you had before, whether they were archive links or Dropbox links, they're just now going to go behind a different front end. So let's now open up a browser. So in my demonstration, I'm going to use archive.org. It's completely free. You have unlimited storage. You can create a free account and then just upload all of your favorite applications to this website. Now we can see in my example, if I click on this, we can see here that I've got three files in my archive store. So when I click on this, we can see the three files here. I've got the Aurora store, DB Assistant, and this application here. Now, the great thing with archive.org is it does give you those direct links to these applications. And that's what you will need in the new front end. Now you can verify this is a direct link because as soon as I click on that, that starts downloading directly onto my device. Okay, let's cancel that. And let's now go to Linktree. So this is basically your new front end that you can use to create your new application store. Again, it's absolutely free. You can create as many links as you like. And of course, you can also create those custom sections. So I know some of you like to be very organized. So you may have your you know, streaming applications, your utilities, your Fire Stick tools or your Android tools. So you can really customize this as much as you like it. So we're just going to create a quick free account. So click here. And just to confirm one more time, free forever, no payment needed. 
So I'm just going to create one of my email addresses. Now the username is actually your store name. So I've already created one for Tech Doctor, but for this demonstration, let's just call this uh, TDUK app. Okay, that's fine. Let's just enter in a quick password and click on sign up. Okay, so for your full name, you can enter in anything that you like. So TDUK, and I'm just gonna click on anything just to move forward and click on continue. Here we can just see that I'm interested in the free package and click on sign up for free. And that's how easy it is to create your new shop front end. Now we can see at the top here that it will actually send you a verification email. So let me quickly verify that. And that's it, I can now start adding in my links. So as I like to be organized, so first let's add a custom section by clicking here and select add a header. So this header is going to be called um, custom app stores. That's fine. Uh, let's add in another section for utilities add a header. So I just call this my utils. That's done. And one last section, I'll call this one my streaming applications. And the great thing is you can see in real time as you're creating the sections, how they'll actually appear when you look on this on your phone, on your tablet, on your Fire Stick, or really any Android device. Now, as I mentioned before about complete control, so we can see if I undo this, that then removes the section. If I click that again, that brings the section back. So you have complete control to fully manage and administer your store. Okay, so now that we have three sections, let's now actually add in some applications. So as I mentioned before, if you already have direct links to your applications, you can now reuse those links here. But in my demonstration, I'm gonna to go to my archive store and let's now get the direct link for the Aurora store. So I'm just gonna copy this link, click on copy, go back to link tree, I'm now going to add my first link. Give the link the name. So this is for the Aurora store. And the link for that, I'm just gonna paste here. And just to confirm that the link ends in APK, so you know it is a direct link to your file. That's now done. Uh, let's now click on add another link. And this one will be my DB assistant. Now you can see here what's happening on the right is these links are now appearing at the top, but we actually want to move them under the sections. And to do that, it literally is just drag and drop. So I want to drag the Aurora store down to here under the custom app stores. And I'm going to move the DB assistant under utils. So we now have one application under utils and we have one under the custom app store. So for streaming, I'm going to add a link for Tubi TV. So again, click on add link. Let's type in to be TV. Of course, you can share whichever applications you like. Paste that link in there. That's done. Uh, let's add another link for distro TV. And again, we can see when you add a new link, it goes to the top automatically, but we're going to move it down into the streaming section. And that's pretty much it guys. I now have a single link, which is up here to the UK app store. I can now share that with my Fire Stick friends or my NVIDIA Show friends. So whoever clicks on that link will now get access to my private applications. And the great thing is we can even create a short code for this link. So if I now just go to go.aftv news, I can now copy this long link, go to this website here, which allows you to create those short codes, paste that long link in, click here, click on short turn, and I'll now get a short code, which I can then share with my downloaded friends. So we have 98107. Now, just before we open that, we can also customize the layout of this store. So you can add in a custom icon, you can change the background. So for example, if I go to appearance, we can see we have some custom themes here. And let's just go for this nice uh, Miami theme here. And that's pretty much it guys. So let's now use this short code onto a fire stick and see what the experience is like. And I can now type in 98107. And of course I can then add this into my favorite. So I won't need to type this in again. 98107 and click on go. And welcome to the new custom store that we created literally in a couple of minutes. And we can now see all of the links that I previously shared with all of the custom sections. And again, anything that we want to download. Uh, let's go for this DB assistant one click, no prompts, no confirmations, that instantly starts downloading the application directly to my device. And that's one of the great things about Linktree that it's very, very easy to use. So maybe you weren't confident in creating a file link store in the past, but as you've seen the step-by-step -step instructions now, 
you can very easily create your own Linktree store. So that's all for this video, guys. And let me just say that I am excited about the new AppLink application as well, but as it's in just such early stages, I wouldn't really recommend, unless you're just testing it out, for you to spend many hours creating your custom store where it's, it really is lacking those basic features. Whereas with this application, you can use it straight away. And as I've demonstrated, it's very, very easy to use. So really appreciate your support. Please do like and share this video with all of your Farlink community. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.